tiny friends. Welcome back to Tiny Keyhole Minis. Today is going to be a Timu day. Timu has reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do a product video in exchange for free products. And I said, sure. Now all users who search or enter my code DMW6782 will receive a $100 coupon bundle upon making a purchase. You can find the link, my code, and all the information in the description box below. I decided to take advantage of this opportunity to purchase supplies that I could literally give away to you guys uh, during my 5k giveaway that will be coming up shortly. Um, I also purchased some supplies to give away with my shipping and my orders off of Etsy. I did manage to get myself a few things. But this haul was mainly intended to share with you guys as a way to be able to give back and say thank you for all of your support. And I would also like to thank Timu for allowing me this opportunity to be able to do so. Timu has a, a large variety of miniatures. And I'm going to start with one of their miniatures. This is a four-piece set for $1.79. And it's like a retro laundry basket set. And it reminded me of the 70s. You can get four pieces in any one of these colors. Or you can get a variety pack. And I chose the variety pack. And I'm thinking these might work out for 112 scale. I feel like they're more of a Barbie scale. Which is 16. But I feel like they might work for a 112 as well. They are very durable. The plastic is not thin and flimsy, so they're pretty well made. Okay, next I purchased one of their sticker collections. This is a 50-piece set for $1.79, and they are retro food posters. I love these. I purchased these to add to my shipping, but um, I may have to keep some of these because they are awesome. A lot of them look like they're from food ads or magazines. And then there are some that look like they should be for a restaurant or a diner or some sort of food business. Uh, so I think I might keep some of those posters. But <laughs> these are really neat. And I'm just going through them to show you. Uh, what you would get if you purchased one of these packs. Some of them look like they belong in a restaurant or a store or some sort of diner or drive-in. A drive-in, a miniature drive-in would be so awesome to create. Like, or just like the concession stand of a miniature drive-in. I just remember when I was a kid, we would always go to the drive-in. And then when my kids were younger, I would try to take them. And I could never make it through the second movie. Because I always want to show you two movies late at night. Who's going to make it through two movies? I thought these were pretty fun. And I'm going to be so excited to hand these out with my orders. Look at, you could make like a 50s retro diner or something like that and add some of these to that. Love these. I'm definitely going to have to keep some of these. <laughs> these are also good for scrapbooking. So if you're into scrapbooking, Tamu offers a huge selection of different things for scrapbooking and I have collected some of their scrapbooking pieces to also include in my giveaway but how fun are these they're just so fun anything vintage or retro is for me and look at this one it's a dairy queen a dairy queen <laughs> I love it I also purchased this uh, sticker collection. It's a 102 piece set for 
for $3.29. And this one is a retro hippie Halloween collection. And this is so fun and so cute. Some of these are just so stinking cute. I love them. They're just so nostalgic and they just bring me right back to my childhood when I was in elementary school. I just love these and they are going to be super fun to include in my packages. These are fun for kids. These are fun if you are a teacher or you work in the schools or if you work with kids, uh, if you work at medical offices to hand off to the kids, uh, you get a large collection. How cute are these? I absolutely love these. Look at Let's Go Ghouls. <laughs> I love this. These are super fun. I remember we used to get these scratch and sniff stickers and the pickle one was my favorite because it smelt like real pickles. I loved it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, who remembers the scratch and sniff stickers? <laughs> so this is a great collection. Halloween vibes, that's me all day. Groovy, wicked. What a fun collection this is. These are so fun. I'm excited to give away these in my packages. Um, it's just really fun to do little giveaways, and I absolutely love these. There's another Let's Go Ghouls. <laughs> okay, so uh, this what is a silver chrome paint marker, and one was two forty nine, and the other was two ninety nine. So it's one of those items that have multiple prices, as do most of their items. So when you're shopping, make sure that you do look thoroughly because you may find a cheaper price for the same item. Now, I wasn't able to do multiple quantities for one item, so I purchased two different ones. They were listed as different, but they are exactly the same. And I really needed one of these because if you've been watching my videos lately, you'll know mine are dry and I just needed a new one. But I also picked one up to give away because I use it quite often. And a lot of the items, most of the items I would say that I have chosen to give away are things that I'm using uh, for my own miniatures. But uh, this is what they look like. And I'm actually going to test this out. And show you exactly how it works. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. We'll see if these are any good. These are listed as mirror chrome. So very chrome markers. So we'll see. We'll be the judge of that. Right? Now, uh, when you get one of these, uh, the instructions on the box are in Asian, but they show you little illustrations that you're supposed to shake it up really good first as any kind of marker pen that you do get or paint pen that you get. You want to shake it up really, really good. And this tells you to pop the top off and then just push it down while standing it straight up. Now this takes a couple minutes. This takes about two minutes, one to two minutes, but don't get frustrated. Just have patience. It will come out. It just takes a little bit of time. So just push your uh, tip down and hold it straight up. Maybe wiggle it back and forth a little bit. The paint will start to come flowing to the tip. So don't think yours is faulty or defective. It's just how they all are. 
I used to have this really cool one called the Outliner. Does anybody remember the Outliner? It was silver chrome like this, but it had a red outline. And I always was so fascinated by that. Like, how did they get it to work that way? It was just a fascinating marker. Right now I'm using um, cardstock. So this is going to show up differently on different materials depending on what you're using. But it's working out pretty well. It's pretty chrome. Um, when it dries, it's going to dry a little differently on the different materials. I'm going to test it on a piece of wood as well just to try something different and see how it works on that as well. So this is just a craft stick. But this is working pretty good. And I think it's going to do until I can go pick up some of the brands that I'm used to working with. But at least we know that this will do the job. And I use this to paint metals. If I'm using a material and trying to make it look like metal, these work great for that. I definitely wanted to add this to my giveaway because it is something that I use often in my projects. And this one works just as well. Here's another miniature that I found, and this is a resin TV. It was 99 cents, and it's more like a 124th scale, but we know that TVs come in different sizes, so this could very well work in a 112th scene. Um, I'm planning on using this for the a camper kit, the uh, RV kit that I have. I thought this would be perfect. That is a little bit of a smaller scale, and I do plan on adding to this to give it more realism. But this is a nice resin piece for 99 cents, and I love it. And I'm thinking that chrome marker might uh, show up like this silver on the front if you're painting a resin piece or something similar. So this is not even an inch in length, about a, about three quarters of an inch. But here's a good idea of how big this tiny little TV is or how tiny this TV is. But I thought this was a super cute, tiny retro TV, and I know exactly where I want to use this. Okay, so this purchase was $15.99. It's a ball jointed doll and it is so stinking cute. Uh, it comes in a great package with it's kind of like shrink wrap. Um, it's it's more of like a, a thicker plastic wrap, kind of like a vinyl plastic wrap uh, to protect it. And there was a female version of this which was a taller piece probably about seven inches and I thought to get that one as well and do kind of like a mother and child kind of project but um, I opted out of getting her so that I can pick out more supplies for you guys and I may go back in and purchase her down the road she's a lot cheaper than this little guy was but look how cute he is and I don't even know exactly what this little guy is almost looks like a little lamb some sort of alien or uh, some sort of being but he's uh, just about three inches I have his head up a little past the ruler but he measures about two and a half to three inches tall so he's just a little tiny guy and oh my gosh so stinking cute He's very well packaged. He's well made. I absolutely love him. I cannot wait to customize him. He had really good reviews. His joints move. They're a little stuck. So if you purchase one of these little guys, you do want to make sure to go ahead and move his joints. Uh, they may be stuck from the sealant or something, but they do. They do move. 
and he comes in this great little package to protect him. Okay, so this uh, tool is $1.99. It's a sculpting tool for clay or for wood, and I really needed one of these. I do not have one of these out of all the sculpting tools that I do have. Um, this one, I think, is going to be really useful. It's kind of like a smoothing spoon. Got a very smooth surface, and I thought that would help with smoothing down my clay. Uh, maybe removing any impressions and helping with my sculpting. It's a really nice silvery tool. It's not sterling silver, but it's nice weight and it was only $1.99. Here's another sculpting set. This is a five piece set for $1.89 and uh, one end has the silicone sculpting heads to it. The other end has dotting tools. They're various sizes. I do have several sets of these, but this includes one of my favorite sculpting tools and I broke it a while ago. So I took the opportunity to pick out another set for myself. I don't need all of these, but you know, when you're working a lot with them, they do need to be replaced. And I'm so heavy handed that I <laughs> definitely could use another set of these because they break on me. Um, but I purchased a second set to give away. Now, this is an, another five piece set. It's the same set. It's just a different design. It was $2.49. It's one of those items that have various prices and I wasn't able to get two of the same sets so i picked out a different one which is actually the same thing just a solid pink so these are very good for sculpting with your clay i love these these are technically nail tools uh, but they work very well for clay sculpting so i definitely wanted to pick one out for the giveaway here's some of the wood that i purchased for my laser cutter this is 16 pieces for $10.49. You get 16 sheets, and I believe they're listed as six by eight. Um, these work great uh, with your laser cutter. If you're cutting by hand, they're very thin. They're very easy to cut. Uh, when I purchased my first pack of wood, um, I was cutting by hand still, and they were pretty simple to cut through. This wood is really good for making your miniature projects. I've made several pieces with the same wood. Okay, so here is a thousand pieces, 549. You get these precision cotton swabs. I love them. And when I purchased these the first time, I did not get such a big quantity. I definitely wanted to stock up on these because I use them all the time. They're really great for getting in those small spaces or right around those edges. And I definitely wanted to make sure to put some of these in my giveaway. Like I said, I'll be giving away a lot of supplies that I use myself. These are great. They're like little toothpicks with cotton heads to them. So they work really, really great. Now you can make these yourself with a little bit of cotton and some toothpicks. I used to do that when I was in nail school, but they offer these and I found them and was like, yes, I love these. Okay, this is a 50 piece pack of mailers for $6.49. They are bubble mailers. Now I have purchased several different sizes from Tamu. These ones are listed as five by eight, but uh, they're more like five by seven. And then the mailing opening itself is a lot smaller than that. These ones are pretty thin compared to the other ones. They measure about four and a half by seven, almost seven inches. 
So it's good for me to have a variety of sizes when it comes to the mailers for my shipping. Camo offers a large variety of shipping products and you can get several different colors and sizes for your mailers. Okay, I picked out another pack of wood. This is 12 pieces for $15.49 and these are listed as 12 by 8. So you can see the size difference. I can put multiple projects on one sheet and I absolutely love them. It's the same thin wood. You're just getting a different size and a different quantity pack. I believe the thickness measures two millimeters. So uh, they're pretty thin. Like I said, if you're cutting by hand, these are great to work with because they're super thin and easy to cut. So 12 pieces in this pack, 12 by eight for this size. And I'm excited to put some more kits out. Yay. I think these are the largest size that I have come across uh, but you just got to search and see and also search for different prices okay I picked out some frame molds they range from $349 to $439 for these three specific molds I like to choose molds that have multiple pieces to them because then I feel like it's worth it uh, they have a variety of silicone molds and all different prices so you definitely want to search through their um, inventory if you're looking for these types of molds. Now, these are great. I use them often and I have used resin in them. I've used liquid polymer clay and I've used polymer clay. I've used air dry clay. And I found that uh, using a soft polymer clay in these is definitely a game changer. It picks up all the detail. They pop out easy. Or you can bake the clay, the polymer clay, right in these silicone molds. So uh, the resin for me, I didn't like because you get a lot of air bubbles. You don't, it doesn't pick up all of the detail. Definitely the soft polymer clay for these. If you are new to these molds, the soft polymer clay is definitely beginner friendly. And it's going to be the best option. Now you can try other materials. I have yet to try other materials. So I'm not saying uh, that it wouldn't be successful. I'm just saying from the materials that I have tried in these, uh, the polymer clay was the best. And it has to be a soft polymer clay so that you can get it in there and work it a bit easier. Now my air dry clay works great in these as well. But a little more effort with the air dry clay definitely the soft polymer clay is the way to go and then you can decide if you want to bake right in the molds or easily pop them out and then you can adjust the shape okay here is a nice 11 piece set of detail brushes for $4.99 and I thought 11 pieces for a set is kind of an odd number but I have purchased these in the past for my son who is also an artist and I absolutely love these. So I took the opportunity to pick out another set for the giveaway. I don't need these. I have, I would like these, but I didn't pick them out for me. I um, have a good amount of detail brushes for now that I can use, but I may plan on purchasing a set for myself in the future. Uh, these come with a variety of different sized detail brush heads. And what I like about these is that they have a comfortable placement for your fingers. So they're ergonomic and it just helps make, make it a little more comfortable when you're detailing. Uh, they fit nicely around your fingers. And I really like these a lot. So I definitely took the opportunity to grab one for the giveaway. Okay, here's an item that I have been searching for for a very long time and finally found them. This is actually a bundle set for $4.73. They offered both options, silver and gold. So it was a perfect pick for me. These are the flat sided studs, the nail art studs. And you get a variety of sizes. And gosh, I have been wanting these for so long. So 
You can also get these singly. I think they have a variety of different colors. If you're looking for these flat sided micro studs, uh, this is a good option because you get this whole case with various sizes for your miniature makes. And we probably have all seen little Gretchen's workshop using these a thousand times and I have yet to come across them. So here they are. I'm super excited to get to use these. Okay, I have a couple more sticker bundles coming up. This is a 50 piece set for $149 and they're little vintage dolls and girls. I love these so much. I love these. Absolutely love these. I'm super excited to hand these off in my packages. Oh my goodness. I will probably be investing in more of these. But look at how cute these are. Some of them look like little girls and some of them look like dolls. Here's the Alice in Wonderland. And they're just vintage girls vintage dolls and this is absolutely perfect for my miniature packages and I'm just showing you the options that come in this uh, bundle here so adorable I think there's like a little dolly for every girl I love this one I can't tell if it's a little boy or a little girl but it's definitely festive and oh so cute and it just looks like there's one in here for every type of girl or every type of doll how cute that is oh my gosh I'm thinking it's a little boy but you just never know I just love these so much. And when I found these, I was like, oh my gosh, I need these. So a 50 piece sticker bundle. Oh, this collection is so cute. And like I said, some of these look like real little girls and some of them look like dolls. There's another Halloween one, but they're all very nostalgic. They're very vintage and I believe there is one for every type of girl in here. And here's a little couple. So cute. Uh, for this next one, it's a vintage sticker collection, 47 pieces for $179. And I love these. You get a variety of floral frames. You can use them for pictures. You can use them for picture frames. Uh, then you get a variety of these tag labels you can also cut these down and use them on your miniature projects uh, great for scrapbooking if you scrapbook I personally pick these out for my packages but I might have to keep some of these frames I love them these would make Great uh, decor in your miniature scenes. You can cut the middle piece out of this one and actually use that as a frame. Sorry, I just skipped over it. Uh, but you get a good variety of these tags. You get a good variety of the floral frames, the little decor pieces. Here it is. So you can cut this piece out. In the center and actually use it to frame a photo these would be great for lovely decor pieces in your miniature scenes my favorite part about this collection is that you get a variety of little girl dolls they're coming up look at how sweet these ones are now they're all peppermint dolls and oh my gosh I'm super excited to put these in my packages you also get really beautiful butterflies I wish the whole collection 
was these little peppermint dolls. They all have some sort of peppermint. They're just so stinking cute. Look at this. So you get a really good variety of different pieces, but these ones are my favorite pieces. I'm going to show you what they all look like. Aren't these so sweet? I'm not keeping any of these. These are definitely all going in my packages. Look at this little girl. Oh my goodness. I love her. Gosh, I love these. These are so perfect for my miniature packages. Here's another one. Oh my goodness. And they're all little peppermint dolls. And then you get these beautiful butterflies. You don't get very many, but you do get some in the collection. Okay, so the last item I'm showing today is a two piece acrylic set for $2.49. You get an acrylic board and a roller now you can purchase these separately or you can purchase them as a set i've already purchased a couple of these for myself but this roller is kind of cool because it's a lot bigger than the one that i have and it's hollow so you can use it as a circle cutter as well now the boards will have film over both sides so make sure to peel that off and you'll have a crystal clear acrylic board and these are great for your polymer clay. This is one of those items they offer that come in various options and prices. So just search through if you're looking for something like this. Okay, tiny friends, that is all for today. I hope you've seen some things that you are looking for or may want to use. I want to thank Timo for reaching out to me and allowing me this opportunity and helping me out with my upcoming giveaway. As always, I like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you all for your support and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much. If this is your first time visiting my channel and would like to see some of my miniature creations, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the top bell notification button to be notified every time I upload a new project. Let me know what you guys think about this haul in the comments below. Are you looking for some of these pieces or would you like to have some of these pieces for your miniature makes? And don't forget to click that like button and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video today. A lot of these supplies are strictly for you guys and for my 5k giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That will be coming up in a couple weeks. And I just want to say thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, because without you all, I could not be doing this, and I love sharing all of this and my miniature work with you all. Don't forget to check out the information in the description box below. Click that link and apply my special code to your next purchase. You can also add my special code in the search bar on the Temu app. Until next time, tiny friends, I hope you all have a lovely day, and I will see you all on the mini side. Bye-bye.